Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. But before I get started on that, I do want to thank you for coming to my channel and for supporting me and for all the wonderful comments that you make. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to be frank with you. I've been doing the Daily News Clips for a while now and mostly it's just really depressing and negative stuff that just gets to me after a while and I've actually gotten to the point where I've thought about seriously not doing daily, daily news clips anymore because it just seems sometimes overwhelming so what I'm going to do today <clears throat> excuse me I'm going to post some links for news clips that I had selected which I'm not going to read to you uh, I'll just read you the headlines. Bronx cheers. Donald Trump promises to make New York great again with spending. It's a story about his rally that he held in the Bronx, which got a uh, great reception. You and what army ICC, an article about how the international, uh, what is it? Crime commission has no power and they can't really do anything. Even though they've, uh, issued arrest warrants for, uh, top Israeli officers and for Hamas. Uh, more Twitter files. Your posts replaced with dog pictures, quinoa recipes, and sports scores. It's a story about how before Elon Musk took over Twitter, uh, they used to replace people's posts with innocuous stuff like dog pictures and quinoa recipes when they didn't like what they posted. It's just... Uh, and then finally there's one on Twitter files and CIA and how the CIA was involved in trying to take over the content management system of Twitter in what world is any of this okay I don't understand I don't get it what is there nobody left in our government that cares about the Constitution so I thought what I would do is highlight this one story that I got in my inbox today. It's called Stop the Bullshit, Going on Strike from It All. Which, to be honest with you, is how I feel right now. I just feel like saying, screw it. It's not even worth reading the news anymore. This is, what my bro this is from Matt Taibbi, by the way. This is what my brilliant friend Walter Kern meant on America This Week by the Elephant Erasure Project. We're constantly being instructed not to look at elephants in the room. Nord Stream is just one of many. Our current president being in King George with Porphyria mind mode is another. That thing where we probably cause a pandemic also counts. Three years of Russiagate panic. In fact, when Walter talked about the elephant in the room control center, I realized this is why I can't pay attention to Trump, because he's the only elephant we're allowed to acknowledge. Ordered to, in fact. He's the universal elephant on every screen, in every headline. It's infuriating to have to look at, amid the growing list of things we're told we don't see. I have no idea anymore what all of this is. The only thing I know is that it isn't news. Walter once calmly dubbed it, the bullshit, meaning what we read now is not the news, but it's, quote, decomposed remains in a news-shaped coffin, unquote. What does it convey? The information it imparts, if one bothers to sift through it, Walter wrote, is information about itself, about the purposes, beliefs, and loyalties of those who produce it, the informing class. But I've lost patience because the informing class no lo now no longer even has the decency to tell us who or what they are, and I say that as a former member of sorts. When I read news, I have no idea if I'm reading a White House press release or those aggressive releases of intelligence the New York Times was good enough two years ago to warn us might be coming in their pages as America sought to match Putin and beat the master at his own information warfare game. 
that formal times launch of the full-fledged information battle went so far as to involve National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan explaining that the problem with the WMD episode was not that spreading an intelligence-concocted lie from this very podium was wrong, but that it was done for the wrong reasons, that is, to start rather than stop a war. You know, at this point, we're, seriously, we are, we are suffering from information over, uh, uh, overload. We really are. It's, <clears throat> there's just so much that's supposedly going on and it's so hard to tell what's true and what isn't that it, it, it's almost seems like a futile task. And uh, I'm seriously considering not doing this anymore. I'm seriously considering just doing music reactions and ignoring what's going on in the world because it's just gotten so crazy and so intolerable. And for someone like me who loves his country, seeing all of this corruption and all of this evil going on just gets to me in a visceral way that's hard to, de to describe or explain to you. It, it really, I just want to, I want to scream. I want to, I want to do something, but I don't know what to do. It's like, you know, we, we can't, we can't just live our lives anymore. We're constantly being bar bombarded with lies. And I'm tired of it. I'm really tired of it. So I don't know. This may be my last one. I'll have to think about it. May, maybe not. I, I go through spurts like this where I feel like giving up and and not doing anything anymore and then I get a second win and I start back in so I'll probably do another one tomorrow like I usually do but it just it's just so frustrating it's just so absolutely infuriating and I'm sick and tired of it I really am I just want something positive to happen for once and God knows I pray about that all the time, but you know, sometimes when you pray for things, God doesn't answer your prayer in the way that you think he should. He answers it in a way that's best for you. And I don't know what that is. So I just have to keep praying and keep believing that somehow, some way we're going to get out of this mess. I hate to be so depressing, but that's the mood I'm in today, so uh, you're stuck with me. As always, I pray for you. I care about you. I want to see you have an abundant life and be healthy and live a long time. And I want God to keep you safe from harm of any kind. And more than anything, I want you to be born again if you're not. And I pray for the same things for the people that you love. But more than anything, I pray that you will be anxious for nothing. And I need those prayers for myself too, obviously. But that in all things, through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, you will make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Mirror Vet, out.